Hi everybody, just wanted to show you a really cool little mod that I discovered the other day when putting a server together for somebody and that is, well, let me just show you. Minimap. <laughs> I love this. I love this mod. So, you know, you've probably seen things like uh, the Vanilla Plus Plus map, but this one just puts that little minimap in the top right hand corner that adds that kind of Call of Duty or Battlefield kind of feel to the game. Something you could probably really use with a entry level whoop beginners um, server um, really really good um, at the moment there's no config file for this for the minimap um, and it doesn't show you um, any anything else apart from you and the surrounding um, areas I think I'm going to uh, die in a minute if I'm not careful but, uh, let's get up here Go on, get on it. Get on. Dear me. Dear me. Um, but hopefully, as the mod matures, we'll start to see more config options. However, when you do first install it, what you need to do is tell the people on your server that they're going to have to um, change the key binding. So you go into the options menu, go into controls, go into configure key binding, go to unsorted, and change it from the kind of left leaning. Uh, slash to something else. I've gone with the right leaning slash, otherwise it won't work. And then you can oops, you can turn it on and off. Otherwise you won't be able to turn it on and off. Okay, so let's leave these zombies to their to their own devices and let's have a look how you install this beauty. It's incredibly easy, really good mod to install. And of course, like most things, it starts off in the Steam Workshop. So you'll want to fire up Steam. And you'll want to find minimap. I will put a link in the description below this video. This mod has no dependencies at all. So you just subscribe to it. And what I'll do, I'll show you how to install it on your local DayZ server for your PC. If you're on a local DayZ server to test mods and play single player. And how to do it on a remote Nitrado server as well. Uh, obviously off PC. So what will happen is once you subscribe to it. And then you open up the DayZ launcher. It will download uh, the latest mod um, and where that kind of lives on your PC is inside your DayZ uh, folder. If you're not sure where that is, in the launcher, if you just go to mods and then pick any mod and click on this little right arrow on the right hand side, then click on these three dots and click on open folder in Windows Explorer, it'll open up your workshop folder inside DayZ and you can see all your mods here. And so we want the minimap one. So you just right click, copy that, go up one, go up another one, and probably your Daisy server will be in the same directory. And all you do is you just right click, paste it into there, and then, then you'll have it there. And then for your local server, what you want to do is you want to go in, you want to go into the key folder, you want to copy the key, you want to go up, and then you want to go into the keys folder for the actual server itself, paste it into there. And then what you need to do is you need to make sure that the server starts with the mod. So all you want to do is just left click on the mod, copy that. So you've got the name of the mod. Go into your batch file that you want to start it with. Um, so let's have a look at this one. Edit with no plus plus plus. And then you just want to add it to your start line in your batch file. So that's the batch file. That's the dot bat. And you can see here we've got the mod section. So mod, so this server is going to start with Community Framework, Zombie Admin Tools, and then if we put a semicolon in there, then we paste and minimap, and then we would save that, and then we would just simply start the server, and our local server will start with minimap on it. Nice and easy. So what do we do on a remote server? Well, let's have a look. So here we have my PC test server. So this is the dashboard, as you can see. So if we go to general settings, then scroll down, and you want to stop the server, and you'll want to add it to your additional mod section there. As you can see, I've copied and pasted at minimap in there, and you'll want to save the changes. Then we need to get the mod up into the server, so you want to open up your favorite um, FTP program. I'm using FileZilla, and when you connect to it, you'll see something like this. And then you want to find the workshop folder on your uh, 
inside your FTP program. If you're not quite sure how to find that again, if you go back to the folder that we were in before, um, so we're going to Daisy Workshop here, and then just left click up here in this bar, that then gives you an absolute address that you can right click copy. You can go back to your FTP program, left click in here, paste that in there, and that will then take you to exactly where you want to go. Then you, all you need to do is scroll down, find the minimap, there it is. Make sure you're in the right directory there. Right click, upload, and that will then upload everything to there. Then what you need to do is click on the keys folder there, go down to the keys folder for the server there. You can see them all down here. So this is the key on my local PC. These are all the keys on my server. Right click, upload, that will then upload those into there. So now we've got the we've got the uh, mod in place. We've got the start uh, instruction to the batch file because on Nitrida you don't act, you don't get direct access to the dot bat the batch file that starts the server. We just have to use this particular settings page. Save that, restart the server, and then Minimap will fire up. Now I'm recording this video near the end of uh, August 2022, so I would fully expect this mod to be updated probably to have options to have more data appear on the minimap I could see it where maybe there was an option where you could see loot or you could see enemies maybe I don't know wouldn't it be really cool if you could have something like you know you could have a Call of Duty option where if somebody fires their gun they appear on the minimap um, all this sort of uh, cool stuff so highly recommend it real fun little mod to add to your server especially to help new people um, and uh, yeah, I like it a lot. What do you think though? Put your questions and comments down below and I will of course see you again soon